Hello everyone, we are here into the next uh, UPSC Plims 2017 question paper discussion. All those questions UPSC made from science and technology. This all question discussion will be very beneficial to all of you to understand the nature of UPSC. So let us start in the lesson number 5. Myself Dr. Ravi Ekrahari, I have done my PhD from IIT Delhi. I am working as a director of Purvanchal IS, Gorakhpur, where I am providing the face-to-face -face classes with the all entire team of Delhi based faculties. I'm taking your classes of science and environment from last 18 years. I'm taking the classes for civil service examinations. Thousand plus selection already have been this examinations. Uh, two books those published on the Magra Hill. The one is on science and tech and environment. That is a highly selling and recommended book for the civil service examinations. So there's a telegram channel where you can find out my all the entire PDF and a part of PDF guys, all the entire video links, those videos I uploading uh, on the I'm uploading on the YouTube platforms. Even every information you can access here. A part of all the uh, all the current uh, PDFs and all I'm sharing here, so guys. So stay tuned with me on the Telegram. It will be really very beneficial to all of you. At single place you can connect with me. My Unacademy profile and Academy.com oblique at the rate of Ravi Piagari 2010. Here my plus and iconic subscription classes are available. Those are paid courses. And a part of guys special classes also available. Those are free of cost. So it's a free for all of you here a lot of the session i'm already taking uh, that will be beneficial for everyone if you are serious civil service expert so kindly follow this uh you would go you my use code is ravi upsc and whenever you are going to join any classes so ravi upsc code if you use you will get extra 10 percent rebate so it's a best platform for civil service examination where all the experienced faculties are available at one place those are taking your live sessions my class is also available of science tech environment here if you want to connect with me so you must have to join these all the entire classes see it's an academy civil services championship that is on 27 march it's a best uh, national scholarship test for all of you guys it's a great opportunity to join and win the lot of scholarship and prizes so kindly enroll it an academy light as a prelims and uh, prelims test series of all the entire general studies and CSAT. Now it's available for 2020-22 and 2020-23. So it's a six month subscriptions and 12 month subscription both are available. And see the good news guys, like first time in India it happened like 50,000 plus students joined even enroll for this test series. So it's a 2017 Plims question paper discussion. Uh, now I'll start with all the entire 11 chapter those I told you earlier. So the first question that UPSC made is the terms event horizon, singularity, string theory and standard model are sometimes seen in the news in the context of this question that UPSC made it is from particle physics in the first lesson I told you guys total 11 chapters are required in civil service examination especially from science and technology and one of the chapter I told you it was particle physics so event horizon similarity string theory standard model these all are connecting with the understanding of universe but I'll tell you here guys standard model is highly valid okay standard model is highly valid so all the studies all the model and theories are given for the understanding of universe See the second question, it's a miscellaneous type of questions like uh, commonly used are consumer matter, unwanted or controversial chemicals. The fun, uh, one pair is lipstick have a lid, that is right guys, for the shining purposes of the local, locals. Okay, when some branded brands, uh, companies are also putting the lead into the lipstick for shining purposes. Soft drinks have a brominated vegetable oil, definitely guys, probably I can tell you this question came from my science and technology book, from the miscellaneous chapter, in the, in the soft drinks chapter, yeah, irritating chapter. Uh, in the miscellaneous topic, one of the topics is the irritating variety. It is there. See, actually, those Fanta and Mirinda type of orange flavor you are using for that purposes, soft drinks have a mixing of brominated vegetable oil. And Chinese food item has a MSG monosodium glutamate. As a, as a people are using it and putting it there, it is it is used generally in the Chinese food item as a taste enhancer. So all are right, guys. All are right there, guys. Okay, and here in the case of Maggi noodles, Maggi noodles have in India two issues. The one was a one lead, and the second was an MSG issues. Okay, so this MSG is definitely, guys, it is it was reported earlier in the case of Chinese food items. Third question that UPSC made is from television. Uh, the question is organic light emitting diode means OLED TV are used to create a digital display in many devices. Okay, so OLED we can use to in the many digital devices, even that you can use in the mobile phone, you can use in the television also what are the advantages of OLED display over the liquid crystal display means UPSC asked the question from LCD versus versus OLED that is the question fine so OLED display can be fabricated on flexible plastic substrate definitely guys it is a flexible material that is the reason we can roll out like a carpet also 
okay it's a flexible plastic subset that is right roll up display embedded in the clothing can be made using wallet i just told you guys it is right and yes definitely it is right we can develop a transparent display okay even those curved tv available now that is somehow is a modification of oled tv okay we bent from the board to side at the time of manufacturing and that's why the that's why the angle view problems those angle view problem are coming in front of i guys that angle view problem will also start out so all the statement right here in this case next question upsc has some biotechnology and upsc question what is the application of somatic cell nuclear transfer technology actually sc and t technology we are using in the case of cloning process in the case of cloning process any any cloning you go guys either you go for reproductive reproductive cloning or you go for the organ cloning does not matter so reproductive is also called as a complete cloning in both two cases we must have to transfer the somatic cell nucleus into egg cell okay so somatic cell nucleus we are transferring into the egg cell okay during the cloning process okay this is also a discussion from the classroom program and even also from the science and technology book of those published in the mcgrail so it's a reproductive cloning or therapeutic any of the cloning upsc can ask so we can go ahead with that in india it is legally mandatory for which of the following to report the cyber security incidents so where have a cyber security incident service provider definitely those service provider happened cyber security issue may be there data center where we are putting the data saving their data and what incorporates that is going to connect all the all the informations from where we are going to display informations so definitely at every level you know the cyber security issues are there it is a question of cyber security ict based question number 6 question number 6 upsc asks that is the what is the purpose of evolve laser interferometer space antenna i hope you guys have seen this was the question of 2020 prelims also okay in 2020 prelims question paper i have discussed about the elisa project i told you it's a three group of the satellites okay that is the planning in the coming future in the coming future with the european space agency and nasa they are working to each even each other guys okay and nasa nasa means american space agency and they they will set up the three space craft in the in the space uh, at some million kilometer million kilometer distance in some triangle triangle arrangement triangle arrangement and through the help of they will try to find out the gravitational wave in the space so definitely guys it will be a discussion of the detect the gravitational wave in the space next question that you can see in the from the health and disease and the question came from zika virus in tropical region zika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmitted dengue absolutely right in the both two cases have a aedes mosquitoes are responsible how is smartly upsc made a question like dengue is going to spread with the aedes zika virus is also going to spread the aedes so it's a conceptual question that upsc made it is right and it is also a report guys sexually zika virus also transmit to so the both one and two correct next question is from the miscellaneous chapter when you see the question book you will get it the standard of uh, bureau of indian standard is mandatory for automotive tire and tubes see guys actually in 2016 uh five to six product also added under the bureau of indian standard here in the five to six uh six uh, materials okay products those were included in the year was tire and tube was also coming and came under this so that is right egg mark is quality certification mark issued by the food and agriculture organization see guys egg mark our india government is providing agricultural marketing to certify the food and uh, food uh, cereal crops in india food and agriculture organization is at international level what is the relation of international level in india guys no 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 never so ultimately the seg mark is the government control not at international level in organization control so only the one is right not the second one 10th question upsc has national intellectual property right policy okay that policy brought in 2016 okay in 2016 those policy came guys here india followed it reiterates the india's commitment to the doha development agenda and the trips agreement definitely guys at international level those doha development agenda and trips agreement came india india brought all the all the information here under the under the our own policy why because at international level what about the decision under doha and the trips made india also try to force in india with the help of this policy and that is reason in the case of developing of this policies okay government follow the doha and trips agreements fine that is definitely right okay this is the reason guys whenever the uh, in the next meeting of uh, any doha or any kind of trips uh, discussion is going to be happen so india is saying like whatever the international level people are going to uh, even uh, force that that every country should have to follow or not so here i am ready to follow it because it's a it's a it's a constructive work. okay so india is in the favor of it second one department of industrial policy and promotion that is dibp dibp is the nodal agency for regulating the intellectual property in india that is right guys and mostly it is working in industrial sectors but one thing more i'll tell you guys that uh, 
uh, today the DIPP name has been changed DPIIT. Maybe you people know or not. But in 2007, its name was a DIPP. So both both statements right here in this case. 11 question that UPSC has some genome sequencing. Okay, the question is with reference to agriculture in India. How can the technique of genome sequencing often seen in the news, okay, uh, be used in the immediate future? What is it? Genome sequencing can be used to identify genetic markers for disease resistance and drought tolerance of the various crop plants. Actually, genome sequencing we can use to find out certain genes inside your body. And definitely through the help of this guys, we can find it out any genetic markers that we can use to detect any particular informations. What kind of information? Any information. But here UPSC is giving disease resistance, gene drought tolerance. Yes, this is also possible. The first statement is right. Second statement, this technique help in reducing the time required to develop new varieties of the crops. Definitely guys, uh, uh, even the, in the uh, short duration varieties you can develop. So short duration variety. So this technology help in the reducing the time required to develop the new varieties. Definitely guys, through the help of gene sequencing, through the help of gene sequencing, okay, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can delete the, you can find out the, uh, even any of the genes, those are delayed the, delayed the, you know, uh, uh, what the time, time periods, okay. Those delay the time period, you will short out and finally you people can reduce the time period guys and the plant will grow as soon as possible short duration varieties short duration varieties have a lot of economical value guys third one it can be used to decipher the host pathogen relationship actually whenever the host uh, and pathogen on the host have a, some pathogen attack pathogen may disease causing agent attack so the host have some 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 compounds host have some compounds and this compound those synthesized into the host body it is under the influence of some genes Okay, because of the host compounds like some proteins or some of the some uh, glycolipid something something some compounds are synthesized into the into the host body and why the host have this type of compounds is because of genetic characters. So definitely guys uh, we, it can be used to decipher the host pathogen relationship in the crop because behind the crop have a have a have a responsibility of genes. So definitely through the help of gene we can do the study of host pathogen relationship in the crop is also possible. Question number 12 here, UPSC has a behavioral question. This question you can connect with ecology also. Ecology, overall you can connect with the biology. Question came from pollinations. Due to some reason, if there is a huge fall in the population of a species of butterfly, what could be the consequences in this case? So if number of butterfly decreases, so what will be the consequences in this case? The one, pollination of some plant could be adversely affected. Definitely guys, definitely. Because butterfly, butterfly can work as a pollinating agent for the many crops, the one part. Okay, there could be a drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plant. What is the role of fungal infections? Okay, because of butterfly, what is a fungal infection? Fungal infection is another thing, guys. Okay, fungal may be spread because of many other reasons, but butterfly never carry one fungus to the another fungus. This is totally wrong, guys. This is totally wrong. Third one, it could lead to a fall of the population of some species of bass, spider, and bird. Definitely, it is right, guys. Whenever because of butterfly pollinations, okay, if the if the plant diversity is going to die, and the plant diversity is the food for these or the many animals, okay, many of the organisms, guys. And definitely, this is right. It is possible. So one and third statement is definitely right here in this case. Next question. Next question. Question is based on the uh, biofilm, and the question is: It is possible to produce the alga-based biofilm? Okay, but what is oblique are the likely limitations of developing countries in promoting this industry? Okay, again the question I will read out. It is possible to produce the alga based biofilm, but what is oblique are the likely limitations of developing countries in promoting this industry? See guys, alga based biofilm I discussed in the classroom program guys. Uh, this is the third generation biofilm. This is the third generation biofilm. Okay, third generation biofilm. Okay, first question, production of alga based biofilm is possible in the sea only, not in the continent. It is totally wrong, guys, because algas are ubiquitous. Algas are ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means they are going everywhere into the water bodies. They are aquatic in nature and every type of water body they are growing. Either water is fresh water does not matter or the water is marine water does not matter. Fresh water is actually available in the continent. The algas are also there. So how you can say that uh, alga based biofilm production only in the sea? No, it is wrong. It is also into the into the C and continent both. So setting up of engineering the alga based biofuel production requires high level expertise technology until the construction is completed. Definitely right. Actually uh, whenever from the alga we are getting the lipid material. Lipid is a kind of fat. It is already developed into the plant body. Alga already synthesizes the lipid. Through the help of trans esterification process. Through the help of trans esterification process. What is going to be happen? This lipid will convert into biodiesel. This lipid will convert into biodiesel. Through the help of trans esterification process, this lipid will convert into biodiesel. Okay, and this trans esterification process is very difficult process. So this is the reason, guys. Second one is definitely right. Expertise technology is required. 
Third one, economically viable production necessities the setting of the large scale facility which may raise ecological and social concern. Definitely guys, it is ecologically viable for the farmers. If farmer will involve in this type of business, so it will be also very profitable. The two, both two and third statement were right. Next question, UPSC asks from National Nutrition Mission. As I spoke in you always guys, health and disease with various immunization program. So immunization program is National Nutrition Mission that UPSC has. Which of the followings are the objectives of National Nutrition Mission? One, to create awareness relating to the malnutrition among the pregnant women and the lactating mother. Definitely right guys. So it is nutrition based. It is nutrition based. Definitely malnutrition. If nutrition availabilities are less to the pregnant women, your lactating mother, mother in that cases, it will, it, will, it will create the awareness in that case. The second one guys because more lactations proper nutrition are very very important in that cases to reduce the incidence of anemia young children adolescent girls and women this is also right also right okay it will try to solve the anemia but time to time guys uh, uh, you know some other addition of diseases also will be the part of it. To promote the consumption of millet coarse syrup polish rice no 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 not promote it but advise it somehow okay here we are not going to distribute any kind of millet coarse and cereals and polish rice here. To promote the consumption of poultry egg also not there guys okay yeah to provide the guidelines like this type of things are required to you people but they are not going to supply to anyone guys okay but ultimately the point is here only one and two not not third and fourth so it was a overall the question guys and what you got in this question like question paper is totally static okay very conceptual questions question not based on the current affairs still it is the conclusion of 2017 question papers and now at last i'll tell you guys for the pdf you will go and download this whole entire pdf from this telegram and here all the video links you will also get it that will be beneficial for all of you so stay tuned with me on the telegram channel and an academy profile where my plus classes iconic classes and free of course based special classes everything available this is my unacademy profile unacademy.com oblique at the rate of ravi p agar 2010 my code during the joining of any uh, courses if you are using ravi upsc the extra 10 percent rate you will get in your fees this is the best uh, uh, classes for all of you iconic subscription i will advise to everyone iconic subscription why it is the best one because live mentorship is there guys live mentorship is there one of the tutor you will get here that will uh, entirely help you in your whole entire preparation guys question answer practices how to do what to do study planning everywhere this live session through live session the mentor will help you open house with educators you can also connect here on an academy subscription guys for general studies and uh, optional classes if you use the ravi upsc code ravi upsc code so extra 10 percent discount you will get in your fees it's a general studies or you are going for the optional courses so the best part of an academy is providing you like a 0% EMI based uh, uh, courses and that's why if anybody's have a financial crunch so you can get a 0% EMI benefit here. So it's uh, really a news for all of you and I'm very sure now an academy is on your uh, physical presence even the physical presence you can see an academy store now is a near uh, metro pillar 121 Delhi or Rajendra Nagar. So here we all the faculties you can also meet it on our own time periods and you people can discuss whatever uh, preparation strategies anything you wanted so a lot of benefit you will get here it's a feedback of an academy you can see it's a best in the class educators one uh, different types of rating and the best part of an academy like 50,000 plus student join the test series so highly demanding highly popular here in the in the case of test series also uh, printed comprehensive notes 20,000 plus questions in the practice sessions mcq based crash courses and live mentorship all the beautiful you know the help for all of you guys in this channel so at last I'll tell you like science and technology environment courses are started now. The one session of science and technology already completed, already completed for 2020-22. Environment course is also running now for 2020-22. So stay tuned with me with the science and technology environment of the academy. Uh, these four two subjects are important for 30 to 35 questions. And definitely I have spoken you always and always the 20 to 20 questions around 20 plus easily you people can solve after listening me reading my books and a part of those youtube videos i'm making here and those are going to upload on this unacademy platform so thank you everyone kindly subscribe this channel and uh, like and share this whole entire videos to rest of your friends because they have a lot of uh, misinterpretation with the subjects studies and all they are saying like this examination is totally the current ways or whatever it is but you should know guys like 17 18 19 20 the four year of analysis i have done and you analyze like the question paper is entirely based on static so thank you everyone i hope this video were enough to open your eyes and now it will really helpful to you in your selections so thank you so much guys in the next video i'll also meet you with some new other 
explanations that will be really very important for all of you for to crack your civil service examinations so thank you everyone god bless you